welcome back to my channel. This is Balancing Life with Brie. So today I am coming at you live from my kitchen in my poof. I'm getting my carpets clean, so there's no furniture in my house. This is the only furniture that I have, and I had to get off the carpet. And the only non-carpeted area where I could film is my kitchen. So here I am on the floor in my kitchen, living my best life, and I'm gonna answer some questions that you guys wrote in on Instagram and posted like on the comment section and YouTube. So real quick, if you're not following me on Instagram, go ahead, check me out there because that's where the majority of these questions came from. Thank you guys for that. And follow or and subscribe if you're not subscribed to me already because you have a lot more coming than just me on this poof. I do weight loss tips, weight watcher, eye track bites, healthy lifestyle, makeup, blah, blah. Whatever I feel like, it's just literally my life trying to figure it out. That's why I'm balancing life with Brie. Okay, so I have your guys' Q&A questions here. I hope the lighting looks good. It's kind of hard to like stare directly into the camera because I have a window there. But we're just going to get right into it. Okay, so I asked you guys if you guys had any questions because a lot of you asked if I would do a Q&A. And here we are. So the first question is, what is my favorite book and movie? So I would say my favorite book is The Great Gatsby. I absolutely love The Great Gatsby. It's just one of those classics for me. I even have like the really cool limited edition Barnes and Noble one. It's like white and gold, it's super, super pretty. So favorite book, The Great Gatsby. Favorite movie would be Nightmare Before Christmas. I love Nightmare Before Christmas. And I really, really like like close, close second is the original Charlie and the Chocolate Factory. Love those. So my second question is favorite WW dinner. That is kind of a hard one. So as you guys know, I love the chicken chili, the white bean chicken chili and the Instapot. I love egg scramble. And I also love, I can't think of the exact name of it right now, but it's the bow tie pasta with the sausage. I'll put it on the screen. I really, really like that one as well. I would say those are probably my top three but I actually have egg scramble in the fridge that I'm gonna eat while the person is cleaning my carpets. The next, I literally pulled these like as they came in. So they're literally are all over the place. So just be aware that it's gonna be a bunch of different kinds of questions everywhere. The third one is how am I holding up with everything? Honestly, I'm okay. I mean, I have to get up in the morning and I have to go to work and I have to do what I need to do. I have to continue to make money so I can feed myself, pay for this house, pay for my dogs, all that kind of stuff. So I'm okay. I'm obviously like super sad, but I don't try to show that on camera. Just, I don't know. I'm just not here to cry in front of the camera basically. Um, I got this question a lot. What is my career? And if I have a degree, what does it end? So my, I'll start with the degree. So I have a, a bachelor's of science in biology with a minor in chemistry and a focus in Spanish. So for those of you who don't know, my stepdad is Hispanic. So I've always kind of like been into the culture and wanted to learn more. So that's why I minored in Spanish. And then biology was my main focus all throughout college. I did a lot of work on water quality um, and algae, basically. I'm not going to go into that because you're going to be like, oh, snooze fest. But that's what I did. And then, like I said, I had the minor in chemistry. So when I first got out of college, I did, like, I had an idea of what I wanted to do, but there were no jobs available. And the only things that I could get were like temp jobs right out of college. And they were just like quality assurance and things that like I just personally wasn't interested in. I did them. I worked these temp jobs literally like four months and then they let you go right before they're supposed to hire you on. I cycled through that for probably a year. And then I landed my first job at PPG, which is a paint company. And I learned how to do things that apply to my new job now, like color matching, which is like a huge thing and things like that and formulations, that kind of stuff. And then that got me the job that I have currently, which I love my job. I don't really want to go into like where I work because I think that's a little odd, but I absolutely love my job. So I'm a research and development chemist. So basically my job is a customer will come to us and say, I want a paint that does X, Y, and Z, and I want it to look like this, and I want it to perform like this, and this is how I want it, and that is my job. I start from a base formula, and I formulate, and I 
make multiple different versions of formulas until I finally find the one that meets all the specifications and requirements that the customer is asking for. Sometimes that takes a very short amount of time and sometimes it takes months or years. It, one thing I've learned about my job that at first was really hard for me is like, I'm going to fail a million times before I succeed. And I think that's kind of helped me in my life currently because I know I'm gonna get knocked down a million times before I'm finally going to be successful. So that's kind of how my job taught me that in a sense, because I can make 15 formulas that will fail. And then finally I make that one that works and it gets approved and then it starts being sold. So. I was okay so I think that answers that question that is my career and that's my degree the next question is what is my favorite cake red velvet hands down red velvet I love red velvet I know it's just chocolate cake with food dye but I don't care it's different it tastes different I don't care what anybody says red velvet is my number one and then two I'd probably say carrot cake or funfetti carrot cake and funfetti are kind of up there I love carrot cake so that's my favorite cake what is my dream vacation? Oof. Pretty much anywhere with a beach. I love going to the beach. I love going to tropical places. I don't think with peace and love to the United States, I don't think US beaches are as pretty as some of the other beaches that I've gone to. Costa Rica was beautiful. I've been to Costa Rica, Jamaica, the Bahamas. I, the beach is there, it's just the water. You can see everything, just the whole island vibe. I love the island. So any time, any kind of like tropical island vacation would be my dream vacation. I don't have like an exact spot, but that's what I would say right now. I do think it would be really cool to go to Greece too. But let's see, this one's kind of like, I don't know. Was it hard to separate finances after the split? No, we, yeah, that was easy. Um, I said I'd answer whatever you guys wanted, but no, it wasn't hard at all. We just did what we needed to do. Um, what are some positives that have come from the separation? Um, I don't really know. I mean, I am going to have to learn to, well, okay, let me take it back. I am learning how to truly love myself and truly learning how to be alone without someone there because as I've said before, we've been together since... I was 18 so I'm gonna be 26 next month and I'm truly doing all of this on my own I'm purchasing my own home I'm doing life by myself and I we grew up together so I really haven't had the chance to grow up as an individual and find out who I truly am I feel like so I think this is the time that's really gonna give me that opportunity to find out who I am as a person um, what are some things I'm looking forward to in my new house decorating the way I want you know when you're in a relationship it's always a give or take like oh I really really like this I want that or oh I want like you know what I mean or oh I really like this oh I don't like that that doesn't work but whatever blah 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 and nobody can tell me what to do with my house but me and I'm so beyond excited about that because I picked the paint colors I picked my bedspread I am picking all the decor all that kind of stuff so that's what I'm super excited for I got my own bed frame my own bed set with like a built-in reading light because I love to read like all these different things that not that I couldn't have before but you know it's a give-and-take situation so this is truly like my own space and I get to decorate it myself so I am very excited about that Am I keeping the dogs? Yes, Jackson and Josie are both coming with me. That's why I got a house with a big old yard so they can run around. Have I reached my goal weight and do I see myself being on maintenance with Weight Watchers? No, I haven't reached my goal weight, but at the same time, I don't really have a goal weight in mind at this exact moment. So my old habits and my own thought process was I want to be at an X amount of weight because this is what I was and I was comparing myself to when I was in high school and that is so unrealistic as a almost 26 year old woman I'm not going to weigh the same I did when I was 16 17 18 that would be just wrong like weird like that's not normal so I am comfortable in my body do I want to tone things and thin out a little more? Yeah, obviously. But am I, do I have like a set number in mind? No, not really because, and even if I, 
let me rewind for a minute. I know some of you guys have asked, like, can I share like my weight loss and like how much I'm losing each month and that kind of stuff. I'm not really focused on that right now from being 100% transparent with you. It's more of how am I feeling? How is my body feeling? You know, do I notice it's more of like an inches type thing. Like, am I losing inches? Am I lose? Am I toning my muscles? Those are the things that I'm looking at right now. I did do the 70 pounds of weight loss. Realistically, if I could lose like 20 more pounds ish and then like tone everything up, that would be like chef's kiss perfect. But I'm also realistic. I'm learning just how to live sustainably and just live my life and be able to still eat healthy, still be healthy and enjoy things. Like I want to enjoy a crumble cookie every once in a while, or I want to enjoy some drinks with my friends and not feel guilty about that. And I think that's kind of where I'm at. I'm still, the goal is still to lose a little bit more weight, but I don't have an exact weight in mind. I think I answered that. What are some of my favorite fitness slash WW accounts to follow? Okay, so recipes with Roy. I'll put them down on the screen. Jennifer Lynn, Sophie, Lauren, Olivia Frieda Curves. She's She does like Weight Watchers and like clothing stuff. I love watching her clothes stuff. Felicia Fitness Health, Whitney Simmons. I love Whitney Simmons. She does the Alive by Whitney program. Yeah, that's pretty much, if I'm missing someone, I'm so sorry. I watch YouTube all the time. Some people that are like, not really like fitness, but like Miss Remy Ashton, I've been watching her since I was in high school. I mentioned her in a video before. She's doing like a cooking thing now, like cooking with Remy, but they're all like really bad foods. So if you have a cheat day, it's like fun to look at because she made these like fried mac and cheese things that look so good. She made funnel cakes and I was like, oh, so I like watching her. She's fun and like funky. So yeah, favorite way to treat myself, retail therapy. I love to shop. I love going, like it doesn't even matter what it is. If I'm going and buying crystals, because I love crystals. I'll show you guys my like collection when I set everything up. I love crystals. I love candles from Bath & Body Works. I love clothes. I love perfumes. I love makeup. I love skincare. Like just treating myself that way, if that's what you mean for treating myself. Or if this question was like, how do I treat myself with like food? I would probably say ice cream like good ice cream, if you know what I mean. Like, if you're from my area, like the UDF cookies and cream shake, mm, so good. Somebody asked, how do I battle hunger? So that one, I have a few things for you. So you, I remember like in the post, you were saying that you like, were like hungry all the time. You didn't know what to eat, especially at night and that kind of stuff. So basically, I know everybody's first thing is just to say like drink more water, which I do agree with to a point, but also that doesn't help satisfy exactly what you need. I would try to find a bunch of low point foods that you think would fill you up. So for example, for me, strawberries. I love strawberries, grapes with the jello seasoning on top, jello packet, jello seasoning, jello packet sprinkled on top. I know a lot of it's fruit, but it is low point or zero points and then green beans i love green beans i know sophie did like green beans and corn a bunch i have done that a few times because it's like a warm meal that you're eating just try to find zero point foods that you can just keep in your pantry to just heat up really really quick that would be my best advice or like just lower point foods i wouldn't waste it on like a cheese stick for three points that's not going to fill you up but a handful of strawberries or blueberries or pineapple or whatever it may be would fill you up probably a lot more will i be closer to my family in my new house yes so a lot of you i guess if you're not from this area you probably don't like understand the layout so northern kentucky and cincinnati are like this close to each other literally like this close so I'm technically only moving 30 minutes away from my current house. So my family didn't live in Ohio, Greg's family did. So my mom and my stepdad are on this side of the river, my aunts, uncles, my nana, my sister, all that is over here. So that is a lot better. I'm a lot closer to my work friends and they're basically like my family. I have a work mom who is literally like my mom. 
So I am a heck of a lot closer to them, but it really wasn't like a big difference. It's like 30 minutes, which for me, I drive 35 minutes to work every day typically. So it's not that big of a deal for me. What is my favorite no track Friday food? Probably coffee, like a Dunkin' iced coffee, a large iced caramel latte with six caramel. Yep, probably that. But if it's like food, food, I love going to Texas Roadhouse and eating rolls. I don't know about you, but Texas Roadhouse rolls just hit different. When did I start my journey? Oh, why did I start my journey and when? So there's one picture which I will input over here. And I took this picture at somebody's graduation and I was just like, holy crap, you need help, girl. And I did. I was battling depression, which I am still, but I wasn't on the proper medication at the time, which made me gain a lot of weight. I was gaining weight, which made me sad, which made me eat more. And it was just a, like a terrible downhill cycle. So when I first started, it wasn't solely on just fixing my weight loss. It was also fixing my mental health, which I don't think people talk about enough, how those two things correlate significantly. Um, and I'm an open book when it comes to that kind of thing. So I did get my medicine switched. I've been on a new medicine for three years now. And that's basically when I started my weight loss journey, because I realized like this medicine is not doing it for me. I am gaining weight because of the medicine. I'm eating more because I am gaining weight, like I just said. And it was just this like slippery slope that just got to a point where I was just like, oh my gosh. And you know, your my clothes sizes were going up and things weren't fitting right. And it just like didn't feel right. So I just decided that I wanna be healthier for me and I wanna be able to like pick up and go and do whatever. It's not like I was immobile or anything like that. Like I still went out and I still hung out with people. I still did whatever but I wanted to make that change for myself and my future. This one, I, when I read this, it made me laugh because um, for those of you who don't know, my mom's in HR. So growing up, she literally always used to do like little interviews with me. So I would be prepared to interview when I was older. And one of this was like, when I read this question, I immediately just thought of my mom, but it was, where do I see myself in five years? Which I feel like is a total interview question um, I see myself probably still in this house with my dogs, chilling. I don't know, honestly, because I didn't see myself six months ago in this situation. So I don't know what's going to happen in five years. I'm just going to let life take me where it takes me and we're just going to have a good time. Honestly, I have no idea. I want to continue doing YouTube. I love it. I love my job, so I don't see that, like my career changing at all, maybe moving up in my position, that would be cool. But yeah, I just see myself vibing, hanging out, doing what I'm doing now, and you guys will see, just come along with the journey, hang out with me for the next five years, let's figure it out together. How many tattoos do I have and do I want more? I have four four and I do want more so I have one on my foot it takes up like my entire foot it's a sugar skull I have my new one right here with the butterfly I have a rose on my shoulder and then I have an arrow on my side I do want to get like quarter sleeves on both but you know, this is why I like the way I have them because in my profession I do have to eventually probably go to like business meetings and stuff like that. And I know the older generation sometimes looks down on tattoos, not everybody, but some of them don't like them. So trying to be a little bit more professional in the work environment is where I'm at right now. So a lot of, all of my tattoos are easily hidden. So it's kind of where I'm at with that. And then the last question I kind of already answered before, but is where I'm moving far away from where I'm at now and do I have to get a new job? No, I don't have to get a new job. I'm actually five minutes away from my work now versus 35 minutes. And like I said, it's just about a 30 minute difference. So it's not very far, which is super nice. And yeah, those are the questions that you guys had for me. I hope I answered them and I hope I didn't miss any because I tried to write all of them down as they came in through Instagram and then I tried to go through the YouTube comments. But if you guys have anything else, I can always just type you back on the YouTubes. But 
I hope you guys enjoy this, getting to know a little bit more about me or my life right now. If you guys like videos like this, please make sure to give this video a big thumbs up. Make sure to subscribe if you haven't already. And I just want you to remember that every day is a new day to pop luck and drop those pounds. Bye, guys. Mm -hmm.